Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are taking you guys to a local place called Minowa to try out some street food. Here is Otsuka Station. From here to Minowa, there is a tram. The last tram of Tokyo Toden. It's called Tokyo Sakura Tram. The terminal is Minowa. So we will take you to Minowa by Toden. Arakawa line. Now the other option we had is we could actually take the tram from Takato no Baba, which is the closest station to us for this particular tram. However, it takes a whole hour to get to Minowa. So we decided to take the faster train to Otsuka and then take the tram. There we see Otsuka station. All you have to do is walk over here, less than a minute and you come to the station for the tram. And if you notice, there are no ticket gates for the tram. You just pay when you enter. It's 170 yen per ride. So what's cool about this tram is that you actually go through the neighborhoods of Tokyo, the local neighborhoods. So riding on the train, even though it's an hour long from Takato no Baba to Minowa, it's quite interesting, especially if it's your first time. So this is where you want to get off for the Shoten Guy, the very nostalgic Shoten Guy called Joyful Minowa. And I'm so excited to show this place to you guys. I wanted to for the longest, longest time. And we're going to try out some street food, so let's go. Before we get started, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with literally thousands of classes for everyone. You can learn new skills and develop existing ones. There are many classes for everyone including cooking, learning how to take better photos with your phone, and so much more. I'm always looking for ways to stay inspired so in return I can inspire you guys. That's not always easy for me. I just finished a course called Finding Your Style by Andy J Pizza. I chose this class thinking it would teach me how to find my style which is important for many things I do here on YouTube. The surprising thing is that in addition to finding my style, I'm finding out more about myself and what's truly important to me. I find Andy the instructor likable and authentic which makes taking his course super enjoyable. The first 1,000 people to click on the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare membership. After that, it's only around $10 a month. Definitely check them out. The first stop is Nikuman Kenkyujo Takanetto Maguro Steak Tuna Steak Bao. So thick, thick Maguro Steak Tuna Steak about one centimeter tuna steak and it's seasoned with some kind of sauce looks like soy sauce babe base sauce the taste is like tuna flake with soy sauce base sauce seasoned nicely and very tender and outside soft bao and crispy lettuce 
and the steak. It's just grilled and seasoned with soy sauce. I love this one. Mm. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. The lettuce is so fresh and crispy. The man actually makes it fresh for you. He makes each one fresh. So you get the charcoal flavor, which is really amazing. They have a sauce, which is like basically soy sauce based, but it doesn't mask the flavor of the fish. You can still taste the tuna. This is the first time we're actually buying food from the street, so this is gonna be a lot of fun for us. I gotta say once again, that tuna bao was incredible. I've never had anything like it. Usually, you know, there's meat inside bao, right? Not fish. But that was amazing. I wanna come back just to eat that. So next shop is Gyoza Gyoza Shop. Sakai Shokhin. And we bought the grilled gyoza, 330 yen per eight pieces. I'm very, very looking forward to try this one. The smell is so nice. Itadakimasu. Mm. They are using garlic, ginger, chives, cabbage. One more, one more piece, can I? This one has so much flavor. You immediately taste the garlic, the chives, the cabbage for sure. That's where the sweetness comes from. The skin of the gyoza is, you know, it, it has very nice texture. Very nice texture. Mm. You really don't need any soy sauce with this. Really. Mm, my goodness. Look at all those vegetables inside. Look at that. Mm. These are the kind of shops you want to go to that specialize in just one thing, and this place specializes in gyoza. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up here. By the way, we found a little park here off to the side of the arcade, and that's where we're gonna uh, eat the food. Tempura is one of my favorite foods of all time. Yes, yes, I love tempura. Actually, my whole family does. And uh, there's this place called Kiku uh, in this Shotengai, and they are famous for their tempura. And I got one of their most popular ones, and it's unusual in Tokyo. It's the Beni Shoka tempura, which is uh, the pickled red ginger. Um, usually, you see this pickled red ginger at like gyudon shops. But this one, they've made it into tempura. They deep fried it with tempura batter. This is 110 yen, so it's quite reasonable. Wow. I lived in Osaka for one year a long time ago. And Osaka, this is actually quite common. Although they use the whole ginger instead of like the chopped up ginger like this one, but it tastes exactly like that. You get that pickled uh, sour taste uh, from the pickled uh, ginger. You got a little bit of the, the kick from the ginger as well. Super good flavor. I love it. It's so crispy. I can't believe it. Mmm. 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 Delicious. Very crispy. Kakiyage. This one is onion with sakura ebi, shrimp, the pink shrimp. Mm. Mm. Onion has a sweetness and shrimp taste now. Shrimp taste. Mm. 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 We found a very nice red shop named Omura. The atmosphere is a little bit nostalgic, nostalgic atmosphere. I love that atmosphere. We bought two breads. One is a very popular one, hamukatsu. Look, deep fried ham inside this kope pan blend, soft bread. Mmm, the ham, 
about five millimeter thickness. The flavor is already seasoned, good sauce taste. Bread is soft, ham has a good texture. I love this sauce flavor, very nice. This one is caramel, caramel flavored one. We talked with a shop lady and this one is her favorite. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's like a cream bread with the caramel flavor. Yes, texture is like cream and the caramel, good. The sweetness is good. I want, I need coffee. I want coffee now. I also want to mention that this shop has been doing business for I think around 80 years. The texture of the bread, this is kopipan. When I used to come to visit Japan, it reminds me of the bread they sold at the bakeries back then. A normal hot dog bun is airy and mostly just really fluffy and soft. But this one actually has a bite to it. It's a little bit chewy as well. And now the caramel one. It kind of tastes like coffee, like a caramel frappuccino or something like that. It's a little bit milky, buttery. It's delicious. And this particular bread they use, compared to the ham one, I feel like this is uh, fluffier and softer. Mmm, that's delicious. Okay, so the next place is called Torifuji. And it's a little bit strange because we actually have a shop called Torifuji in our neighborhood. And looking at their little package that our barbecue came in, yes, it's the same shop. They are a chain, we had no idea. So this is one of their onigiri or onigiri sandwiches. And this has imitation crab. I think I see luncheon meat or ham. There's scrambled eggs. I think that's cheese and lettuce. So I was expecting it to have like a Japanese taste, but no, it's like the fillings of a sandwich. Yeah, there's like mayo. I guess the ham and cheese makes it taste like a ham and cheese sandwich. But it's sandwiched in between rice and nori seaweed. And unlike an onigiri, the rice is not salted. Mm, so it's not that salty. All the flavor comes from the fillings on the inside. And this is the barbecue. Yes. So this one has scallops, there's chicken, that's squid, um, shishito, pepper, sausage. In this chicken skin, and then there's chicken again. Thank you, Shinichi. I love scallop. Itadakimasu. Mm. How is it? The soy sauce base, sweetened soy sauce, tare. It's good. It goes through into this scallop meat. I love that. Mm. Half scrambled egg, but it's still soft. Now to get to the squid, that's the part I actually want to eat. I do have to eat the chicken. Mmm, mmm, yum. Mmm, very tender. I think the squid is my favorite. Mmm, I wish they had squid, squid barbecue like this at our Torifuji. So dessert time. We bought these, these sweets from Kitaya. This one is dorayaki, and one is their favorite, uh, their popular snack, Edo Daiko. So first, I want to try this dorayaki. Regularly, dorayaki use red azuki bean paste, but this one is white bean paste and chestnuts, chunk of chestnuts. The inside is not purple, it's white. Oh, it's start raining. Ta -da! Can you see the chunk of chestnuts inside? Mmm, 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 mmm. Regularly, they use red azuki bean paste, but this one, using white bean paste, the chestnut flavor is distinctive. Really good. So this one is called Edo Daiko. Taiko means drum. So it means the drum of the drums of Edo. It's very soft, but the inside is actually kind of like mochi. Look, look at this texture. Wow. That's kind of like mochi. It's sesame paste. Mm. And the outside, it's kind of like, um, like something between 
pancake and mochi. It's like a mochi pancake. <laughs> Black sesame seed paste. Yeah, it's, oh. it's quite interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Loud it. Yeah. I'm gonna try the, um, mm. if you don't mind, I'd like to try the dorayaki. Definitely, the chunks of chestnuts is special. But I think what stands out for me is how fluffy the pancake is. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a pancake is because it's fluffy, like the fluffiest pancake ever. This is a nice little park. Yeah, this is like the perfect place to enjoy your snacks. Huh, <sighs> what was I scared of? That was just a drizzle. I overreacted. It's no longer drizzling. Okay, the last place is this coffee shop. We had to talk about this place. It's called Papa Noel. They've been doing business since 1984. They specialize in coffee beans, but they also have a little sit-down place inside as well as outside. The last time we were here, Satoshi said, this place had one of the best coffees. And I agree, I had one of the best decafs here. Yeah, we also got their um, apple pie. Uh, this is not made here. Uh, this is made by a bakery nearby. So I was waiting for this moment. This is Toden brand. They are original. They are original coffee. When I sip this coffee for the first time, I'm amazed. Wow. Itadakimasu. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. The bitterness, the richness, the tanginess, the combination is perfect. It's really perfect. And it goes through to my whole body immediately. Can you understand? Can you understand? When you drink Gatorade, the Gatorade goes through into your body very smoothly. It's same. But taste is, of course, it's not Gatorade like a sports drink. This one is very nice coffee, but it goes through to your my body. It's like a pea berry coffee, uh, which I drank in Hawaii. It's same for me. Oh, oh, this is unforgettable coffee for me. Apple pie, apple pie. Look, so much apples inside. This is Japanese apple pie. So, they don't use cinnamon, which I don't like. So, this one is like cake. It's very comfortable for me. Good apple taste. I can eat this apple pie. I like the taste of coffee, but I just, you know, uh, cannot drink the regular caffeinated version. And um, I have a hard time finding good decaf coffee. Um, that's one of the reasons why I go to Starbucks all the time, because they're one of the few places that serve decaf. But this place has it, and I think this decaf, don't tell Starbucks, is better than Starbucks. So there's definitely ample pieces, but I also see like pieces of sponge cake in here. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's like a cross between cake and pie. Although, I think I should bring my own bottle of cinnamon next time. So I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with these food, especially the coffee. <laughs> especially the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I love the coffee. Well, I loved everything, to be honest with you. Um, some of the standouts for me were, were the, the bao with the tuna. Mm -hmm. That one was super unique and also very delicious. And I also enjoy the tempura. Oh, the, that's the, tempura. The, Ginger the, one. Yeah, benishoga tempura. Mm -hmm. We have so much food. I'm trying to remember everything we had. Mm -hmm. And of course, that bread. The bread. <laughs> yes, the bread. That one too. No, I can't really choose a favorite because everything we tried today was good. And I, I think the most uh, impressive thing for me, well, what remains in my memory, is the whole experience. Everybody, every shop owner that we encountered were really friendly and nice. They were welcoming to us and I, I hope that this place and other places like this one will continue to do business for a very long time. I you know, so because they're becoming extinct, especially in big cities like Tokyo. We really wanted to show you guys these local places for the longest time. And so I am really, really happy we finally got to do this video. Once again, don't forget to check out Skillshare because they are definitely worth checking out. And we will see you guys on our next video. Thank you for watching. 
see you next T シャツビデオ。バイバーイ。バイバイ。